What's up, everybody? Deuces Jack at VapingInsider.com. I got a new one for you today. I got the Joytech Espion Solo. Let's cut down low. Let's go over everything. I'll show you the battery door. We'll go over the menu system, okay? Then we'll cut back on top. We'll talk about it a little bit. Cons, pros, out of here, okay? See you down low. All right, everyone. Welcome to the down low portion of this video. Today we have the Joytech Espion Solo 10th Anniversary Edition, okay? Comes with a 21700, 4000 mAh battery, all right? I've been a big fan of the Solo series so far. They've done a nice job on quite a few mods here. This is a quick tour around the box, a little Espion Solo branding, a little Joytech.com branding, okay? In the package, we have one Espeon Solo, one Procore Air Atomizer, two Pro CA 0.4 ohm coil heads, okay? Spare glass tube, 18650 battery sleeve, USB cable, instruction manuals, warranty card, warning cards, and spare parts, okay? Here's your little scratch and sniff over here. There's your barcode. This is the black edition. All right, let's check it out and get down to the nitty gritty. There is your Solo Espion. Real nice, man. Nice screen, touch screen, okay? Very much in the, in the same fashion as the dual battery Espion, okay? There is a shit ton of paperwork in here, all right? This is the coil you're gonna be getting. The Pro CA, best wattage from 55 to 65. Uh, it's a flavor and cloud coil, okay? These are all the coils available. Let's file that to the side. Joytech battery safety, file that to the side. Warranty card, gone. Procore Air quick start manual. And here's the regular manual, all right, for the mod. Let's take the tank out for a second. Here is the spare glass. Nice thing that they included that. I dig that, okay, especially in kits. Some kits lately have been coming without spare glasses, not Joytech, but other companies. I like the fact that they put a spare glass in there. All right, and inside this little box, we have a bunch of spare O-rings. Another drip tip. Man, that thing is massive, huh? Look at that. Nice big drip tip, okay? We have a 18650 adapter, silicone one, all right, nice. And we also have a charging update USB cable, all right? Let's chuck all this stuff to the side, all right? Let's start off on top as usual, okay? Here we have a gold-plated spring-loaded 510. Has a very loose, long throw to it, okay? Threading here is kind of smooth. They did create some type of indentation right there, if you can see that, okay? And I don't know why they did that, because I want to show you something real quick. It really messes with this tank a little bit that came with it, because if you'll look, I don't know if you can see that, there is some slight gapage. See that? See my... See that? There's a little bit of gapage there, man. I don't know why they did that. They should have just left that surface flat. Very, very slight. You really got to look for it, but it's definitely there, okay? This is the Procore Air, all right? You can see nice honeycomb style drip tip, okay? Very much in the same fashion as a smoke drip tip. It's an 810 with dual O-rings, all right? See this little arrow right here? I don't know if you can see that on camera. See that? That's where you push. Use the Joytech if you can't see that, okay? Right where the Joytech branding is, push, boom, you have a slider, top fill, tic-tac shape over here. It'll do well with almost every juice bottle except for bullnose bottles. They will be very messy on this, okay? Bottom airflow, stoppers on both ends, smooth AFC ring, okay? Whatever you do on one side happens on the other side, all right? No branding on the back here. We got a stainless steel 510 connection there, little insulator ring around it. Threading here is pretty smooth, okay? Threading all over is pretty smooth. This is a very 
baby beast-ish type of tank, okay? This is the coil that you get. This is the Pro CA 0.4 ohm coil, okay? You can see the coil is rated here from 40 to 80 watts with a best range of, what did that card say, 50 to 65 watts, right? All right, nice coil. This is a baby beast style coil. In fact, you know, Vaporesso NRG coils will fit, smoke baby beast coils will fit, whatever you want. You know, that's baby beast style or that's compatible with baby beast will actually fit on here, okay? Let's show you everything put together. Let's show it to you on top of the mod, all right? It's a little big for the mod, right? I mean, I wish they would have bubble glassed this thing out since bubble glasses are pretty popular now. Now, we got a really nice fire button that wraps around the edges. 10th anniversary on there, okay? Nice, big, gorgeous screen. This is your unlock button. It is a touch screen. This is your USB port where you can charge and do updates, okay? Nice texture over here, Joytech, a little bit of Joytech branding, all right? It's, it's got a nice paint job to it, man. Now, in order to take your battery out, you pull this off, okay? That's your battery cover. Over here, you have one, two, three, four magnets, all right? They're good. They stay on. Door stays shut. No movement. Really nice job on the door, okay? Now, you get a battery with this. All right, I'm not, this is the one that came with it, yes. Normally they have a, uh, a plastic piece on here so the mod can't turn on when you get it, if you get it with the battery. Okay, let's put that to the side for a second. Clear battery indicator markings. I wish they would have done them in white though. All right, on the bottom here we have a gold-plated button style contact. On the top here we have a gold-plated spring-loaded contact. All right, I've been running this battery in it. It's been working pretty well. Big, beautiful screen, okay? Now, look, it's a touch screen, right? See? Now, in order to unlock it, you hit the unlock button, okay? Now you can adjust your wattage up. You can adjust your wattage down. It scrolls in one watt increments. Just keep your finger on the button, okay? Goes all the way up to 80 watts, all right? Now, if you slide to the right, you can see your battery percentage, your time, your wattage, your resistance, and your amount of puffs, all right? Now, if you want it, you slide to the left in order to go into your different modes, okay? Once you're in temperature control mode, like right now we're in stainless steel mode, right? If I want to adjust my wattage, I have to go to the set menu, I have to go to power, and I have to adjust it here, okay? Once you adjust it there, it will show up in the main screen. All right, see it says 65 watts over there. Let's go over the screen real, real quick. Mode, resistance, time, temperature, wattage in temperature control mode, puffs, and battery meter, okay? Let's unlock it again. Let's go back to the mode. So you got TCR and you got bypass as well, okay? Now, over here is your info. It'll give you battery, version, and exit. Okay, over here is where you can set things. You can set your resistance, your power, your sub-para, meaning you can see if you want to display the time, puffs, or amps, okay? You also can set your clock, your preheat, your timeout, and you, you exit right over there. In order to exit this menu system, you hit that, okay? I want to go back to power mode. I unlock the mod. I go to power mode. Boom, I'm back in power mode. Okay, now let me show you how we juice this tank up. Okay, real quick. Put this to the side. The juice we're going to be using today is Taylor Made Strawberry Crunch from Tailored House. Man, let me tell you something. If you haven't tried Tailored House juices yet, you're out of your mind because they make some of the best juices I've ever had. They have a strawberry crunch, a honey crunch, and a snickerdoodle crunch. What I like to do with a coil like this, this is a nice big baby beast style coil, right? What I like to do is I like to make sure I juice it around the edges here, okay? Nothing crazy. You don't have to go crazy with the juice, but you want to get some in there. You want to get it a little saturated, okay? You know, I like to put the nozzle in there and get the juice flowing. And then I also like to paint over here some juice 
just to get things flowing, okay? Take your glass section, the rest of the tank, screw it on, okay? Remember, Joytech, that's where you push, right? Shove your juice bottle in and fill. And that's it, man. You are good to go. Let's cut back on top. Let's talk about it a little bit. Cons, pros, we're out of here. See you back on top. All right, everyone, we're back on top with the Joytech Espion Solo. You just saw it down below, man. Beautiful screen, okay? I really like it. Solid battery door, okay? I like that unlock button over here, right? One thing I forgot to show in the down low, if you hold down the unlock button, you it's a shortcut to scroll through your materials. You can get to like stainless steel, titanium, and nickel 200 that way, all right? It's got a nice texture to it, nice feel. Fires down as low as 0.05 ohms in TC. Fires down as low as 0.1 ohm in power mode, okay? I, I like the feel, I like the form factor. Let's get into the official cons and pros. First con is going to be adjusting the wattage in TC mode is a real pain in the neck because you can't do it on the first screen. You actually have to go to another screen to adjust it. I don't like that, okay? Other, other con is going to be the TC on this thing is just weak, very anemic, not good TC, okay? I'm also going to give them a con on that fire button. While it's nice and big, it is a little bit on the mushy side. I like my fire buttons to be a little bit more tactile feeling, okay? The other con I'm going to give it is with a 2700 battery, you do get some battery rattle. Not with a 21700, but with a 2700 you do, so that's going to be a con, okay? Let's get on to the pros because there's quite a few of them, okay? First pro is going to be on the tank, lots of airflow, good flavor. I like that, okay? I like the colors that are available. I'm going to give them a pro on that. This thing is available in a bunch of different colors. Love the clock feature on the screen. That's going to be a pro, okay? It's a big, bright screen. That's going to be a pro, okay? I like the that it's firmware upgradable. That's a pro, all right? I also like that it has 2-amp charging. We'll, we'll, we'll always give a pro for that on this channel, okay? I like the fact that it's a 21700 mod that's going to be a pro it fires fast that's a pro no rattles with a 21700 we'll give them a pro on that okay comes with two coils we'll give them a pro on that okay i love this unlock button i like that they did a great job on that that's a pro okay give them a pro on the 18650 battery adapter that's included that's a pro okay i like the fact that this tank is Baby Beast compatible, Baby Beast coil compatibles. That's a pro because you can get Baby Beast coils anywhere, okay? Menu system's really easy. That's a pro. Smooth airflow. That's a pro, okay? I like the general aesthetics and feel of this mod. We'll give that a pro, okay? It's got a nice form factor, okay? That's, that's always a pro here, okay? Fits up to 25 millimeter atomizers. That's a pro, okay? Scrolls in one watt increments. Another pro. All right. I'm also going to give them a pro for really nice build quality. This is better than most Joytech mods. They did a nice job on the build quality of this mod. All right. And that's all I have for you today, folks. That was the Joytech Espion Solo. Check out the links down below. We're going to have places where you can buy it. All right. Make sure you check out our forum, vapinginsider.com forward slash forum. Make sure you check out the links for this juice that we use today, the tailored vapes. What is it? The strawberry crunch. Awesome, awesome juice. If you're a strawberry vapor, you'll like it. Okay. If you found this video informative or if you liked it, hit me up in the comments down below. Let me know what you thought. Okay. Hit that subscribe button. All right. This way, every time we drop a new video, you'll be notified, especially if you hit that notification button. Okay. That's it for now. We'll see you on the next one. You keep living that vape life. We're out of here. Deuces.